Medical errors are common in healthcare, and human error has been shown to contribute to critical incidents. 20 years ago, the Institute of Medicine estimated that 44,000 to 98,000 deaths a year in the United States could be attributed to medical error. While estimating the number of deaths attributed to medical error can be difficult and controversial because of the methodology that had been used, survey data suggests that 21% of Americans have personally experienced a medical error. A national survey of American physicians found that one in 10, or 10.5% 10 of physicians, reported that they had made a medical error in the three months prior to the survey. What's more is that physicians who reported burnout symptoms had twice the odds of a self-reported medical error. Despite our best intentions, we must remember that clinicians are human too. Being human means that individual factors, cognitive biases, and the influence of the complex, adaptive environment of healthcare can prevent us from seeing the elephant in the room and predisposing our patients to medical harm. Errors in healthcare are usually unintentional. The errors that can lead a team down the wrong path can be divided into two types, action errors and mistakes. Action errors include slips and lapses. A slip is an action-based commission failure, such as looking at the wrong monitor to make a decision, or pressing the off button instead of the on button on a medication pump. A lapse is a memory-based omission failure, such as forgetting to defibrillate a patient during a cardiac arrest. These errors can be made by well-trained providers, and additional training may not prevent these errors from happening. In contrast, a mistake is a thinking error, where the action is planned, but the inadvertent error occurs because of a rule or deficiency in knowledge. A mistake can occur if an alarm is ignored in a real emergency because of a history of false alarms, or the diagnosis of an arrest is incorrect and the subsequent treatment is inappropriate. Remember that situational awareness is knowing what's going on around you. We can view errors in healthcare through the frame of situational awareness and categorize errors in the form of not knowing the answer to three questions. Where have we come from? Not knowing this is an error about monitoring your environment, understanding ourselves and knowing our team. These are errors in perception. Where are we now? Not knowing this is an error about comprehension and shared mental models. And where are we going? Not knowing this is an error about balancing attention and anticipating a future state. The error troika is a model of countermeasures to avoid errors in the first place, to trap errors before they are committed, and to mitigate the consequences of an error. Control measures for avoiding an error can include the use of checklists, alarms, providing sufficient time to complete a task, and informing the individual about the slip or lapse if it's observed. Imagine that in the heat of the moment, you pick up the wrong medication and you detect your error before administering it to a patient. That's trapping an error. Administering an excessive amount of an anesthetic such that the patient's blood pressure decreases and then treating the hypotension with the vasopressor medication is an example of error mitigation. Mistakes can also be mitigated by sharing mental models of a crisis, minimizing disruptions, questioning the plan, or performing a double check. We'll discuss these concepts over the next few weeks. 
One of the goals of this course is to help you build the layers of this error troika. Trapping slips, lapses, and mistakes can prevent a mishap. Trapping requires team members to identify levels of human error and be empowered to take corrective action. We want you to reflect on how you learn best in your clinical environment. Think about your past experiences and those times in which learning was powerful and enhanced. Were those experiences emotional? Were they in a classroom? What type of events remained in your memory.